Every little bit helps. That's the idea guiding Lewis Harvey right now. And it hit him passing the Coast Guard station at Nia Bay. Drive by, you can see the uh, family housing. Nationwide, 42,000 active duty Coast Guard members missed their scheduled paycheck today because of the government shutdown. And I thought, well, if there's somebody that's probably going to be in need, it's probably going to be them. That's what led Harvey to donate $1,000 to the Chief Petty Officers Association this week so they can distribute funds to members and families most in need. And I thought back about the remote location this is in. It takes them over two hours to get to almost any major area. And you just can't do that without having funds. This will help them in one way or another based on what their needs are. He's not the only one pitching in this week. The Coast Guard's commandant posted a message writing, I recognize the anxiety and uncertainty this situation places on you and your family. You are not and will not be forgotten. He also announced that Coast Guard Mutual Assistance received a $15 million donation from USAA for support and that the Red Cross is assisting. When you're working out in these rough areas and you're not getting paid, that's really a challenge. And we paid people in wartime. What is going on here is totally reprehensible. And Harvey hopes more people will consider pitching in because he believes his donation sends a bigger message than cash value. I hope when they see it, it's, it's something that basically takes, uh, takes a moment, tells them that somebody cares. Michael Crow, King 5 News. Now, back on December 31st, Coast Guard members, reservists, and retirees did receive ch checks because of a short-term fix, but those funds are no longer in existence.